trigonometric identities. It is question 76 in my sequence of questions, but it is a part of your test problem, right? So it is question in your test paper. Copy the question and try to solve it. Once you've done the solution, then you can look for my suggestions. Okay, the question is prove that tan x plus secant x minus 1 divided by tan x minus secant x plus 1 equals to 1 plus sin x divided by cos x. We did have similar one with sin x plus cos x minus 1, right? I hope you remember that. Follow the same strategy. Here is uh, my solution. So what I will do is I'll make use of trigonometric Pythagorean identity which relates tan and secant which is 1 plus, let me write it here, 1 plus tan square x is equal to secant square x, right? So from here I can always write 1 as secant square x minus tan square x, correct? So I'll, I'll use this Pythagorean identity to solve this equation, correct? So we'll start with the left side for the time being. So this time we'll start from the left side. Okay, so we'll write this as tan x plus secant x. Instead of 1, I'm writing secant square x minus tan square x. So I'm writing secant square x minus tan square x. So that is the substitution I've done. I've replaced 1 with secant square x minus tan square x, okay? Denominator, I'm keeping as such. Minus secant x plus 1. So that's where we are. And now we'll combine the terms in the numerator and see what we can get. So that's our... Now, this can be written as... So let me write this as tan x plus secant x minus. Now this is difference of squares, right? So difference of squares I can write as secant x plus tan x times secant x minus tan x. Got it? So because that gives me difference of squares, right? So I'll write denominator as such, which is tan x minus secant x plus 1. Now from here you can see we got tan x plus secant x kind of common, right? So I'll take factor out tan x plus secant x. We get tan x plus secant x. We'll factor out. It is common between, do you see this? So we'll factor this out. And we're left with 1 from here minus secant x minus tan x. And in the denominator, we have tan x minus secant x plus 1. Now if you open the bracket, what do we get? So, so we get tan x minus secant x plus 1. So that is kind of same. Do you see that? So here we have tan x plus secant x. So we have tan x plus secant x. Now this is 1, right? And this is minus secant x and that is plus tan x. So this term in the bracket cancels out. Correct? So you're left with tan x plus secant x. Now, tan x can be written as sin x over cos x. And secant x can be written as 1 over cos x. Correct? So cos x is common denominator. We can write cos x and we, are, we get sin x plus 1 in the numerator. Which is same as the right side. Hence, the identity has been proven. Correct? So we have 1 plus sin x divided by cos x.